Okay, so in the last video I just shot, just moments ago, I, I ended it sort of jokingly. Hey, maybe I should use hair gel on top of this faux hawk and actual different type of modding, modeling clay or whatever modifier is what I'm trying to say uh, on the back. All right, so I thought about it. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Follow me back into the bathroom because you care about this. This is important entertainment for your life. This is, this is molding your identity, your understanding of how the world works. This is important to you. I'm, again, I'm pointing out the irony, the paradox, that one of the best hairstyles for a man with a receding hairline, which is most men, let's face it, is going to be a faux hawk. But how many men do you know who have faux hawks? Not a whole lot. Well, it just so happens that of all the YouTube channels in the world, this is arguably the number fourth popular in the world that largely addresses the topic of male pattern baldness. And sometimes it's not even baldness. For a lot of my viewers, it's more so it's just they have receding temples or they're, they've got more of a Norwood 2 situation, which isn't actually balding and technically is even receding hairline. Technically, yes, but not necessarily hair loss. It's not until you have thinning going on or you're getting the round circles, uh, the round shape up on your hairline as compared to more of the point. So I've already applied in the previous video the LA looks to the top. And again, my hair is wavy, it's longer on top. But the thing is with this faux hawk, I really wanna make this faux hawk pop, almost rhymes. So I want this to really, I want more of a party back here. So what if every day, just towel dry my hair, it's no big deal. I use bar soap actually to wash my hair and charcoal bar soap. Uh, and then I just towel dry it and when it's dry, you saw me in another video, just put in this on the top, but then, you know, the Dear Barber, what's it called, modifier, right? Mat Mattifier, that's the name of this. I did do a review of this stuff. So this is uh, more of like a putty type of stuff here. So what I'm gonna do, well, yeah, what if I just do that on the back and then the other stuff, I'm gonna put more on actually. I wanna see a little bit more liberal. I don't like a lot of gunk in my hair. I don't want it to be obvious and I don't want anything to be high maintenance. Largely I chose this hairstyle because it, I perceived it as low maintenance. But I mean, if I can fix my hair in less than a minute, then I feel like I'm doing pretty good because I do not want to spend a lot of time. Actually, I'll put some on the sides too. Why not? All right. So. Just fluffing that up. In my mind, it needs to be that if you see me from the side, you should see a little bit of a tail sticking out there. I want that bed head look. There we go. All right, so just imagine, let's say it all together again. One of the most suitable hairstyles for a man with a receding hairline to downplay it, not to hide it, just to downplay it, to work with it, is a faux hawk. But not that many men are rocking the faux hawk in 2020. I am. You're welcome, by the way. You need someone to live this out as their life. So there we go, there, there it is. I think that's what I'm gonna do now. I will use two products because I own them already. Just the cheap $2 hair gel here from LA Looks. And I think this stuff runs close to like 15 or $16 in American money. I paid $5 for it at Marshall's. But I had already done the review on it, so you could just buy it from Amazon, I guess, to get the best deal on it. So there you go. I think that makes the most sense. I'm not trying to hide a receding hairline. But as far as downplay it, okay, sure, just work with it. I mean, it's like this. You could have a hairstyle that makes it look worse. You could slick it back and put lots of oil-based, petroleum-based pomade in your hair and look like a car salesman or something. Or you can say, you know what, it's not that I'm trying to hide it, but I, I can downplay it a bit and I can actually really work with it. And I feel, man, it's just so funny because a lot of people, viewers, are not liking this hairstyle and I'm loving this hairstyle. 
I mean, it, should I just keep this one for the from now on? Let this be my haircut. I'm turning forty next year. Let this go into my forties, having having that spunk. That's what I'm thinking. Your comments belong right here.